Longshore drift is a coastal process along a beach and it generally moves material from one end of the beach to another. It's all determined by the prevailing wind, the most common wind affecting a beach. And in this diagram here, the prevailing wind is from the southwest. And this means that any waves which come towards the coastline will come in from the southwest. And the effect this has is that the swash of the waves will move the pebble, in this case, up the beach at an angle, and the backwash will bring the pebble back down the beach at right angles, and it's at right angles due to gravity. Um, the swash will then move the pebble at an angle up the beach, <coughs> and the backwash again will move it back down at right angles. And this zigzag pattern um, continues along the beach, and the pebble eventually will end up here. And we can categorically say that the direction of longshore drift, therefore, is from west to east. So now let's see if you can test yourself um, using this diagram here. Uh, the, the arrow here shows the direction of the prevailing wind. Where do you think the pebble will end up? Well, quite simply, the prevailing wind is from the northeast and it will cause the swash of the waves coming in at an angle to move the pebble at an angle up the beach and back down, up and back down in the zigzag fashion so that eventually <coughs> the pebble will end up um, further down the beach. So longshore drift in this case is from north to south.